HIV is the human immunodeficiency virus. The human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. This is an enveloped virus. The envelope is derived from the host cell membrane with viral glycoproteins such as GP120 and GP41 inserted into the membrane as the virus leaves the cell. To establish infection, HIV must first attach to its host cell. Attachment occurs by interaction between GP120 on the surface of the virus and the CD4 antigen receptor on the surface of the host cell. In addition to the CD4 receptor, there must also be a co-receptor on the host cell. The co-receptor differs for different host cell types. In T lymphocytes, the co-receptor is called CXCR4 whereas on macrophages, the co-receptor is called CCR5. After attachment... Step 1 is the infection of a suitable host cell, such as a CD4-positive T lymphocyte. Entry of HIV into the cell requires the presence of certain receptors on the cell surface. CD4 receptors and co-receptors, such as CCR5 or CXCR4, these receptors interact with protein complexes, which are embedded in the viral envelope. These complexes are composed of two glycoproteins, an extracellular GP120 and a transmembrane GP41. When HIV approaches a target cell, GP120 binds to the CD4 receptors. This process is termed attachment. It promotes further binding to a co-receptor. Co-receptor binding results in a conformational change in GP120. There are two mechanisms by which enveloped viruses enter host cells. In one of the mechanisms, the virion attaches to host cell receptors by specific proteins on its surface, called spikes. The envelope of the virus fuses with the plasma membrane of the host, and the nucleocapsid is released directly into the cytoplasm. The nucleic acid then separates from the protein coat. In the second mechanism, the enveloped virus adsorbs to the host cell by specific proteins on its surface, and the virion is taken in by endocytosis. In this process, the host cell plasma membrane surrounds the whole virion and forms a vesicle. The envelope of the virion then fuses with the plasma membrane of the vesicle, and the nucleocapsid is released into the host cytoplasm. The capsid protein is then removed, releasing the nucleic acid of the virus.